who we reached and what was the response what more can we do and who can reach who more effectively it turned out to be a very good intervention in those days as god has his own ways and i documented that in an article building a mosque in in the us which is there were three of us brother iqbal aziz from the business background marketing background brother mazam a civil engineer a structural engineer myself having the expertise in fundraising and also being an effective motivational speaker now when i look back those were the three main ingredients which were really needed for building of any islamic center but god made that arrangement himself for us it was very clear to me and to others this task this project was meant to be completed because god wanted this way at one point as the president of the society i started saying we need to see that every family when they get together for their social gatherings for their dinners that's what they are talking about that yes we do need an islamic center we need a masjid we need a place for our children and i also remember the day when within one year of the ground breaking ceremony we had the money we had the building people were so excited they did not even want to have the finishing touches but they wanted to say the friday prayer now this goes back to more than 20 years but happy surprise was that in that friday prayer we could not accommodate everyone in that 4000 square feet building so from that day it was very clear to us we needed to think about the expansion project we also became acutely aware of the parking needs we did not have as many parking slots as were needed we were able to add a few more by cleaning one side of the mosque but it still we all know that in the main islamic center parking continues to be a challenge some ideas have been discussed like having two three friday prayers it has not materialized yet islamic center of delaware as the name is or masjid ibrahim there is no question that it is the biggest the first and as it started operating more and more people started coming for friday prayers then we started having eid prayers there and sunday school started and the number of students attending that started increasing so experience told us that when there is a house of god those people who we even don't know that they would exist in, in the community they start coming and pretty soon we realized that for eid prayer it was not enough place so we went back to getting some places which we could rent out and alhamdulillah as many people in delaware know that there have been gatherings in thousands some people estimate maybe in 5000 when a few times we went to the center in uh, near the river and uh, i'm very pleased to say that god has been very kind to 
Delaware community of Muslims. In last 10 years, the growth that we have seen is amazing. It is very pleasing. We are very proud of the increasing number of Muslims. We were only perhaps a hundred families at the most 20, 30 years back. But in this short period of time, more so in the last few years, the number has just increased amazingly. As the number has increased, it has also raised many challenges. It has created very specific challenges. Starting from the space, then education of our children, then a desire from the Muslim community of Delaware to have a full-time school. We had many of these things in the plans from the very beginning, 20 some years back, when we said there will be the first phase of Musalla, the place where we can say our prayers, particularly the Friday prayer. But then in the second phase, some people said that we will have a multi-purpose room where some other Islamic activities can take place. And then third phase would be where a school will be built. I was hoping that all these th three phases could be completed much more quickly. But for all kinds of reasons, it did not happen. But thanks to God that there were efforts made, fundraising was done, and one by one, both were completed. And last year, when we were still thinking about the real education, Islamic education of our children, the temporary arrangement that we had in the trailers, it expired. Then Brother Hatim came forward and he said that he would do whatever he can to educate the young children. I would say that all those efforts which were made, they were remarkable in their own place because they were building blocks which helped us gradually to reach where we are now. And in the last couple of years, this family of Naveed Bakar I would say has been a blessing to Delaware Islamic community. These two young, very energetic, very educated people, they felt the need for the Islamic community in some ways more than what we had thought about. It is because of their specific background, because of their specific interests, Yes, like any other new endeavor, they had challenges, they had criticism, people felt negatively about it. But in the long run, what we all found out was that the concern was that they are not known or they are not very well known to the community. And would they be able to do what they are saying? But Alhamdulillah, they did a wonderful job and it is because of their efforts that overall in our local community, even the Islamic Society of Delaware felt more stronger need to start an Islamic school. And again, there were questions that now when there will be two Islamic schools, Tarbiya, run by Naveed Bakar and his wife Amna and the other one which was being started by Islamic Society of Delaware itself would there be enough children for both of them but time told us that our thinking was much limited same thing happened that happened when Islamic Society of Delaware main mosque building was started that right away people started coming who we never thought about 
Similarly, I see the same phenomenon 20 years later when one nicely run organized school was started un under the name of Tarbiya and also people saw how committed Islamic Society of Delaware was for the Islamic uh, school under that organization, more and more people started coming to the point where within a short period of time, we are facing the same challenge as to what to do. What more buildings should we be building? All these years, I have also seen that it is not just Masjid Ibrahim. There were other people who were feeling very strongly that there should be a place where they could also pray, educate their children, and even perform some other Islamic activities, including some funeral services. So I'm very pleased to say that now we have a mosque in Wilmington, Masjid Akasar, and even though I have only visited once, but everything that I have heard about that masjid and what I saw myself that one day, it is a masjid which is being run by very dedicated Muslims who are committed to the cause, who believe in doing things themselves. And my understanding is that they never do any formal fundraising events. More strength to them. I think more of us should join hands. At least we should appreciate what they are doing and what kind of examples that group of Muslims have set for us and for the whole community. There have been efforts made elsewhere too, which should be mentioned, like there were, has been a masjid which was in a rental place, mostly run by our Turkish brothers. Now they have a place of their own through Glasgow Mosque. And I have learned that even in Dover, the desire has been there for a long time. And they used to pray together at the Air Force Base. Same kind of thing that we used to do, go to University of Delaware or Goldie Beacom or then Cheney State University. And then they started thinking seriously that they should have a building of their own. And Alhamdulillah, now they do. If I look at the future, just from that point of view, Muslim in Delaware, their need to say their prayers the way they want, meaning five days prayers, meaning Eid prayers, meaning gatherings at the time of Ramadan, and even other activities like Muslim marriages or other celebrations like Amin for children. We I think are moving into a phase where there would be in future a need for regional masajid that every community would start having small masjid and then as it is guided by Islam on Friday nearby people from Muslims from nearby masajid will get together in the bigger masjid and all of those will get together in a place where they can pray their Eid prayers. Now it is easy said for me then it would be really materialized. It is a challenge. It is a challenge for the growing community. I sometimes feel that the people who have moved into the community in the last few years, they need to know clearly all these efforts, they need to know the history so that they can appreciate what went on. Because many of them I see in a hurry they come to some of these 
Masajid, particularly Masjid Ibrahim, and they quickly leave and go back to their jobs. But the demand of the time is that all these Muslims, they should start realizing that these buildings do not run at their own. They have expenses. They have heating, cooling, electricity, light, you name it, and outside maintenance. It can only happen if they start feeling that they belong to these buildings and vice versa. So that they start having this strong feeling of ownership and ownership obviously comes with sense of responsibility, sense of contribution. I borrow this from the famous American president John F. Kennedy who said, don't ask your nation what nation can do for you, but ask yourself what you can do for nation. It very much applies to Islamic community in Delaware. We should be asking ourselves and continuously ask what is it that we can do? What can we contribute? And contributions can be in many ways. It can be intellectual contribution. It can be moral support. It can be educational